Hello everybody, this is Keegan here, and welcome back to my channel, and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. And welcome back to a brand new episode of Keegan's Movie Reviews, a series where I review movies and give my opinions on them. And this is Season 1, Episode 9, Movie Review Number 9. So today's movie I'm going to be talking about in this episode is a movie I saw in theaters on Monday night. And that movie we're going to be talking about today, ladies and gentlemen, is The Invisible Man. And we're talking about the recent remake that just came out recently. And The Invisible Man is a sci-fi thriller written and directed by Lee Winnell, who also wrote the first Saw movie, and he starred in that movie. And he later directed movies like Insidious Chapter 3 and Upgrade. So this is the third film from this director. And this is actually also the remake of the original movie, which came out in 1933, which was based on the 1897 novel, which was written by H.G. Wells. Now, I'm going to start off by saying I have never seen the original or read the novel that it was based on, but I'm sure I'll check those out someday. But for now, I've only seen the remake. And before I talk about the movie itself, I just want to say, I got to be honest, I actually wasn't too sure about seeing this movie. When I saw the trailer to it, when I saw, back when I saw 1917 in theaters back in January, I was thinking, eh, it's probably not going to be that great. But after hearing a lot of good things about it, I said, eh, why not go see it and see what I think of it. And after I walked out of the theater, I said, eh, that actually wasn't all that bad. But not great either. Well, we'll talk about my, well, I'll give my opinion on the movie after I talk a little bit about the movie around the end of the video. So anyways, without further ado, let's talk about the movie itself. So, this film follows a young woman named Cecilia, who's played by Elizabeth Moss. And the film starts off with Cecilia leaving her house to escape from her abusive husband named Adrian. She escapes when her sister picks her up from the house. And then the film flash forwards to two weeks later, and Cecilia gets the news that allegedly, that allegedly that Adrian committed suicide, or did he? Or did he have the case of Jeffrey Epstein? Which, by the way, Epstein didn't kill himself. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that by now. What, what does that have to do with uh, the re review? Nothing. I was just letting you guys know that Epstein didn't kill himself. So anyways, where was I? Oh yeah. Anyways, um, Cecilia ends up inheriting um, Adrian's uh, money because uh, Adrian was like a billionaire or something. I think he was like a really rich architect or something. I can't remember though. But then, while after uh, Cecilia escaped from Adrian, she is currently staying at a friend's house. But then not long after, she's being terrorized by Adrian, who's invisible. But she can't see or hear him, but he sees when he moves something. And people don't believe Cecilia, but Cecilia is trying to tell people that Adrian's after terrorizing her. But no one believes her. They just think that she's just dealing with, uh, she's just grieving over Adrian's death. Or is he dead? And Cecilia is trying to figure out what's going on and how is Adrian still alive as a ghost. But uh, there's a big plot twist around the last 30 or so minutes. And it kind of gets a little weird and confusing from there. Now, I'm going to talk about my opinions on the movie. Uh, no, I'm going to give my opinion on the movie. That makes more sense. Um... Now, I enjoyed the first half of the movie. I thought the mo the first half was really um really atmospheric and pretty creepy at times and it was a uh, quite good at the first half. But when you get to the plot twist at around the last 30 minutes or so, it felt kind of weird and and confusing and like um okay. But overall, the movie wasn't exactly great or perfect or anything. But uh, I thought the movie was okay. It could have been a little bit better. But I enjoyed it for what it was. But I didn't necessarily enjoy it as much as other people do. 
But overall, I thought this was an alright movie, I guess. Although, I will say it's one of the much better modern day remakes I've seen. But overall, it was an alright movie. It wasn't too special. So, lastly, let's give my rating on the movie. So, I'm rating this movie a 6.5 out of 10. So, that's it for this review. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please leave a like. Please leave a comment below and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you'd like to check out my last review, which was on her, the link to that is in the description. And the next movie I'll be reviewing on Keegan's Movie Reviews will be on Uncut Gems. That review will be coming soon. So, anyways, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And stay tuned for more videos, you guys. And until then, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.